I'm in Brooklyn for a day on the job with the seltzer man. The whole reason that we're still here is because it is a family business right. and we just don't want to see it go. Hi, my name is Alex Gomberg. I'm the vice president of Brooklyn Seltzer Boys. Uh, right now we're here at Gomberg Seltzer Works, the last remaining bottling plant in all of New York for siphon seltzer bottles. We're in the seltzer van ready to deliver. Everything used to get delivered back in the day directly to your house. You got seltzer, you got milk, you had bread, meat, ice, whatever. My great grandfather was a seltzer man, wanted to start his own, own venture. So he passed it down and then passed it down again and then right. passed it down to you. Right. My great grandfather, to my grandfather, to my dad and my uncle who are partners and still very much involved in what we do. And now me. The process for the seltzer is this. We take New York City water, which comes off the street, goes into our building into this triple filtration method. First it goes through a sand filter, mm -hmm. then a charcoal filter, then a paper polisher. And basically that just takes out any odors, tastes, microsolids in the already clean New York City tap water. That water goes into this machine that chills the water to 43 degrees. That mixes inside of a carbonator. There's a paddle that churns the triple filtered water and the CO2, and that makes seltzer. What's a typical day for you? On a typical day, I get in, I leave my house at about 5 o'clock in the morning, 5.30, to get to work by 7. I live in New Jersey, so I'm wow. slept into Brooklyn every day. Load the truck, and then we do about anywhere between 15 to 20 stops in, a, in one truck in a day. We deliver you a case of 10 bottles. We'll pick them up the next time, as we take care of all in-house. Uh, from cleaning our bottles to making our own boxes, we do everything with our own hands. What's the price? It's about $45 for a case of seltzer. What do you think people have to gain from the subscription service as opposed to going to the store and buying a can? Well, going to the supermarket, you're obviously gonna pay way less. I mean, there's no comparison. You're, you're gonna, it's gonna be 50 or 60 cents maybe for a, a bottle of seltzer. Whereas ours, you're getting the personal attention, but you're also getting a quality product. When you take off the twist off cap in a from a supermarket plastic bottle, it's gonna go flat after the first use. That doesn't happen with ours. So you push the trigger, take what you need, put it back in the refrigerator, two, three days later, a week or two weeks later, it's gonna have the same bite. Wow. So you're not gonna have any waste. And what's great about it for the bars and restaurants, they use their desired amount, they put a two ounce topper on a, on a beverage, they don't have to throw it out. Also, these bottles are hand blown in the early 1900s, because we're now the last ones that do it. All the bottles have kind of been trickled down to us. So it's wow. all history. These are all original bottles that have been used generation after generation. So my great grandfather could have been delivering these particular bottles. In terms of your client base, is there something that all have in common? They love seltzer. <laughs> people see these bottles and it touches them in a certain way. I'm making the, these people's days delivering a case of seltzer. It makes my day too. So if you're drinking a case a week, that's a good, that's a good amount. Yeah, yeah, it is. The people that are casual seltzer drinkers, but still want to support and help the environment and you know get away from plastic bottles, they drink about a case a month, more for a nicer, fancier dinner. I bet it's a real showstopper at a dinner party to bring one of the bottles out. It's always a conversation. <laughs> These bottles, everywhere I go, anytime I wear a Brooklyn seltzer shirt, somebody always has something to say about seltzer and, and, and it always is it's when we go to friends house and and we're introduced to new friends what do you do i say i'm a seltzer man and it's it starts a whole you know that's what the whole conversation ends up being about <laughs>